So Orioles lost a tough one tonight, 6-3 to to Toronto before 20,000. And the Orioles are giving us a summer, hopefully a fall to remember, but instead of basking in these glory days, we're bogged down with stuff off the field. That's right. The Orioles chairman, John Angelos, is signaling some uncertainty in re-signing some of the team's top talent. He says if they do, it could affect how much you pay. WMER 2 News' Jack Watson spoke with fans at tonight's game. It's Nancy and Chuck Zeller's first O's game this year, the Tuesday night start of a home series, a good game against a good opponent. The O's have had a lot of them this year, led by a group of electric young players on cheap first contracts. If what Nancy and Chuck paid were to go up... I'm really concerned because I feel like we paid a lot for the tickets that we're going to have tonight. And I'm concerned that there won't be a lot of people who will be able to afford an increase in prices. For many O's fans, John Angelos' words to the New York Times seemed out of left field. This week's comments from the team's managing partner caused renewed anxiety for fans. This is like, what, three weeks in a row he's come out with public statements that were kind of negative for the fan base of the Orioles. And it's, you know, it's just not what you want to hear. The team's doing good. Angelos rarely speaks directly to reporters, but in an article published in the Times this week, he said, quote, let's say we sat down and showed you the financials for the Orioles. You will quickly see that when people talk about giving this player 200 million, that player 150 million, we would be so financially underwater that you'd have to raise the prices massively. The leader of the O's brass essentially saying in an unequal system, Baltimore is too small to afford to keep their great young players without a drastic price increase. Adley Rutschman, Gunnar Henderson, and Felix Bautista, just to name a few, on those currently light deals. This could be our year, uh, and to keep it going for the next uh, uh, five, eight years, uh, we need to keep some of our talent. It's not the first time this month the attention has gone away from the Diamond. It was just a few weeks ago that the club suspended announcer Kevin Brown for sharing unflattering statistics about the team's past performance in Tampa. Now the organization faces more scrutiny on social media and here at the ballpark. That's just going to degrade the team because I don't think that will continue to draw the fan support if the pr prices go up. He's going to price people out of being able to come to the ballpark. Whether the club actually keeps the young players driving their newfound success is a question that may take years to answer. That was Jack Watson reporting for us, and he asked the team for further comment and hasn't heard back. And on top of all this, there's the Camden Yards lease deal that remains incomplete at this hour.